Aaron is second to none in this administration when it comes to working with uh, local communities and championing the voice and the point of view of cities and towns. Um, she's probably been to visit over 250 of the Commonwealth's 351 cities and towns and has made quite clear to all of us that she plans to get to all of them uh, before the end of our term. And, uh, and I think a lot of that work that she's done, both in championing and developing this legislation, but also in signing over 250 community compact best practices with cities and towns around Massachusetts is a clear indicator of just how seriously she takes this responsibility. So when I think of uh, how we got started in this, we as state leaders said we don't have all the answers. We need to ask, ask the experts on the front lines. And what Sean and I came up with was one simple question. And we said, what changes can our Commonwealth make to state regulations, laws, and mandates that will improve your ability to deliver quality services to your constituents in the most cost-effective manner? That one simple question, when we posed this last spring, yielded about 1,300 responses. We studied every single response. We put the, the thoughtfulness into the bill to represent those ideas that came from local government. When we introduced these reforms last year, we did so with four key themes in mind, focused on helping our municipal partners improve the way they conduct their day-to-day -day business. And the legislat legislation that the governor is signing today achieves those goals. First, it eliminates and updates obsolete laws that prevent municipalities from keeping up with the times and operating more efficiently. Second, to promote local independence that allows our cities and towns to operate more freely. Third, streamline state oversight with cities and towns. And fourth, to provide municipalities with greater flexibility when it comes to local governance. This is important work, and it's been 50 years since the Commonwealth updated a lot of the standards and the rules associated with local government. And I would certainly say that for most of the folks in local government, this was long overdue. Um, and it was a great opportunity to collaborate with our colleagues in local government to get this done.